Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio. So today, there's lots of Pokemon news. All of it awesome, some of it really weird. Oh, it's an exciting time, ladies and gentlemen. And um, it turns out in exactly one week, there is going to be another announcement... We don't know what that is. We will speculate at the end. And we're going to start off right off the bat, okay, with the most exciting news they shared today. Pokemon Snap is coming back. New Pokemon Snap is being developed for the Nintendo Switch. Now, unfortunately, all they actually said was that it is in development. They didn't give us any kind of timeline. They didn't tell us when we were going to be getting it, etc., etc. We were purely told that it is on the way and that it is happening. And it's one of those things where we'll have to, um, we'll have to wait till later. But we're getting it and it's awesome. Now, for those of you that don't know, Pokemon Snap was a game for the Nintendo 64, which was actually released... Well, it had staggered releases, according to Wikipedia, which is kind of good with this kind of stuff. It was released in Japan in March 99, North America in June 99, and of course, we got it in Europe September 2000, because <laughs> why would we get it at the same time as everybody else? Cheers for that. But basically, it's an on-rails shooter, so to speak. But instead of having a gun, you have a camera, and your goal is to take the best pictures of Pokemon in their natural environments. So, and you'll already see from the screenshots that we've been shown, it looks beautiful. But it's an on-rails, or, okay, let me be clear. The original was an on-rails experience, which essentially means they can put more time and effort into making it look beautiful, rather than having a full world to explore and having to worry all about that. The original was absolutely amazing. I have a, weirdly have a boxed copy of it, which I can't say about many N64 games at all. It's amazing. I love it. There's a reason it's a cult classic. I actually tweeted out yesterday that one of the things I really wanted from this presentation was new Pokemon Snap. I didn't think we'd actually get it. There is no time frame, unfortunately, but you, you should all be a little bit excited. And I should add on at this stage, between starting the video and now, we have actually seen a screenshot of the photographer sitting in a car, which, as far as I'm concerned, essentially confirms that it will be an on-rail shooter. Also, there is a mini site, which literally has a track with arrows on going around it. So, I think it's extremely fair at this stage to suggest that it will be an on-rails experience. Not saying it's a bad thing. Just saying that on rail seems pretty much confirmed at this stage. Now, the weirdest announcement we got was Pokemon Smile, which, to put it bluntly, is an app slash game which is designed to help you help your children brush their teeth. And my daughter's been a little bit um hesitant at times to brush her teeth lately. She goes through phases. Most children go through phases where they don't want to brush their teeth. And you basically put your phone up against a wall or in a holder or whatever. And then there's kind of like an AR thing going on where you brush your teeth and fight to get rid of bacteria away from the Pokemon, apparently. And then there's some AR things where you can put little hats on your kid and all of that. It looks really fun. It's clearly designed to try and make brushing your teeth more fun. And you can catch Pokemon in it. We weren't given a huge amount of details. We were told that it is actually going to be made available today. So it is literally coming out today. And it's a bit of a weird one, if I'm honest with you. But it's very, very cool nonetheless. If you don't have kids, that doesn't mean you can't still play Pokemon Smile when brushing your teeth. It's not what we expected from the announcement. But I don't think that should make anybody, anybody sad. Plus, maybe it'll make us all brush our teeth a little bit more. Whether we have kids or not. Now, there was another mobile -y game which was revealed. It is Pokemon Cafe Mix. Though it is coming out on both the Switch and on phones, it is not just coming out on phones. 
And essentially, it's another one of these matching games where you move symbols around, the symbols in this case being Pokemon heads, and you match them up to essentially solve puzzles, score points, it's a kind of game we've seen many, many times before in many, many different iterations. Even Pokemon, I mean, this isn't Pokemon Shuffle, but it seems mechanically like, oh, we're matching up Pokemon heads very much like Pokemon Shuffle did. Nothing against Pokemon Shuffle, mind you, but that was another game where you had Pokemon heads and you matched them all up to solve puzzles. It's not exactly the same as that, incidentally. And the puzzles do change as we go. But it's a very similar kind of thing. And you serve your Pokemon in the cafe. And if they like you enough, they'll become regulars. And then they might even join your team and come and help. And then over time, you expand the cafe and the menu. We know that it's coming soon. We also know that it is, and this is what terrifies me, free to start. That's, um, that's slightly worrying to me, ladies and gentlemen. Free to start is not something I'm a huge fan of. It basically means that you can play the game slowly as you go. Or you can speed things up a little bit by paying extra money. It's not the kind of thing that excites me brilliantly, the whole freemium aspect. But I like little puzzle games and I like Pokemon, so... Maybe that's something we can get involved with. Now, they did talk about the DLC as we knew they would. Of course, the Isle of Armor is released literally today. They didn't tell us very much. They didn't give too much away, which I appreciate very much indeed because I'm literally going to make this video. I'm going to put this video online and then I'm going to spend the rest of the day and I'll be honest with you, tomorrow until I finish it, playing the Isle of Armour, I didn't want any spoilers in today's broadcast, and we didn't really get any. The one thing we were told is that there is going to be a zero or a max raid, and that if one million people combined take down zero aura, they will give everyone a shiny zero aura. Now, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but that sounds like something I want. Now, it starts today and goes on until the 28th of June. To receive Shiny Zero Aura, you must move a Pokemon between Pokemon Home and Sword or Shield during the event. And Shiny Zero Aura will be gifted via the mobile device version of Pokemon Home. Now, there are a few people out there that have the Switch version without the mobile version. You are excluded from this like the Hidden Ability First Partners. And I'm sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. But we are getting Shiny Zero Aura if we all take them down. That's pretty good. It does say defeat, not catch. So if you defeat Zero Aura but fail to catch, you will still be included and get the shiny one. As far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, that's a pretty good thing indeed. And we were given some information on Pokemon Go. They talked about having the focus on at-home play, which is something they've been doing a lot during the whole pandemic lockdown thing. And they reiterated about Pokemon Go Fest being a purely digital event this year, which is kind of cool. Now, they did talk about introducing a Pokemon that will ensure victory. It's Victini. Victini is literally the victory Pokemon. So that's going to be made available during Pokemon Go Fest. So if you're into the whole Victini thing, or you just want a new legendary Pokemon, good news, ladies and gentlemen, good news. And when I say legendary, I actually mean mythical, of course, because Victini is a mythical Pokemon. Now, we were also told that Mega Evolution is coming, which is very cool. Mega Evolution, for those that are new to Pokemon, or at least don't play too much outside of Pokemon Go. It basically is a new form of an existing Pokemon that they can take during battle to become stronger. So Rayquaza will turn into Mega Rayquaza. It's something that happens during battle to make them significantly stronger and beefier. So that's kind of exciting. There are a whole bunch of Pokemon that have Mega Evolutions. Not all Pokemon do. And for some reason, Charizard and Mewtwo have two Mega Evolutions each. Why would they not, ladies and gentlemen? Why would they not? And to celebrate the release of the Isle of Armor, they are going to make Galarian Farfetch'd available 
in the game. In Pokemon Go, you will be able to get yourself Galarian Farfetch'd. Of course, what's different about this, other than it being a fighting type, is that it does evolve into Surfetch'd, a brand new Pokemon. No news on whether you would be able to get Surfetch'd in Pokemon Go or not. Now, for those that are unaware, Surfetch does actually have a, a very weird evolution mechanic in the video games. You basically have to hit three critical hits in a row. Which, I mean, to be fair, if you take a move that hits critically more often and then use X crit, you'll do it fairly easily. But that's not the point. The point is, I don't know how they would give us Surfetched in the game or whether it is going to be possible to evolve. It's one of those things I suppose we're just going to have to wait and see. And then they finished off telling us that on June the 24th, exactly one week from today, there is going to be a new announcement. There's going to be, now they did specifically say a new project. They didn't say a new live stream or a new series of announcements or anything like that. They said a new project, which makes it sound very much to me like it is going to be a game, a game that is essentially big enough to warrant its own live stream. To put it simply, a game that is too big and too exciting to be added into this trailer with everything else. Now, as far as I am concerned, there are two possible options for what this could end up being. Option number one, a sequel to Pokemon Go. Essentially, Pokemon Go, but for Gen 2. Now, I know that a lot of people don't necessarily want that. I know that's not everybody's preferred thing, but a Generation 2 Pokemon Go would make sense. What everybody wants is a remake of Diamond and Pearl. That's what everyone's looking for, Gen 4 remakes. Of course, we have already had Gen 3 remakes. That was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Gen 4 is next up for the remake treatment whenever that happens. It's been rumoured for a very long time, and although this is not a confirmation, and let's be 100% clear, this is not a confirmation. We have not been told Gen 4 remakes are coming. We have not been told Gen 4 remakes are coming. Was that nice and clear? Excellent. Now, having said that, they are keeping a game back, a project back, as they called it, and they are using it next week, and it's essentially having its own stream, I think it's going to be Gen 4 remakes. I really think we're getting Gen 4 remakes. It could be Gen 2 Pokemon Go, which would not make people anywhere near as happy, but I suppose we'll have to wait next week. And yes, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I will be back same time next week, showing you all the news from the announcement next week. But for now, I want to know what you think about all of these announcements and how excited you are for Pokemon Smile and, you know, Pokemon Snap. So let me know in the comment section. Got us! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.